Hello everyone, from today onwards we are going to bring a whole new series that will be called as financial series into your favorite channel technical portal. So into this video series we are going to talk about some important functions and formulas that can be proved as most important and useful into your accounts workbook or financial database. So welcome back everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel financial series into your favorite channel technical portal this is your host Pritam and don't worry I will give you the link of downloading this excel workbook into my description box so please check it out so today in this video we are simply going to find the interest rate from a simple database you can see into this video and we are going to use the rate function into this database the excel rate function is a financial function that returns the interest rate per period of an annuity you can use rate to calculate the periodic interest rate then multiply as required to derive the annual interest rate the rate function calculates by iteration so why we are going to use the rate function we are going to use this to get the interest rate per period of an annuity so without further ado let's begin here you can see in into this database I have some loan amount that is 5000 monthly payment is this one and periods that means how many months that are 60 and periods per year we have 12 so here to calculate the interest rate we need to insert the formula of rate function like this equals to rate then it is asking for n per so what actually n per refers to this means the total number of payment periods right that is included into our c6 cell note that carefully we need that periods that is total periods of months right that is the total number of payment periods so insert a comma now it is asking for PMT and what is the PMT actually PMT is the short form of the payment right the payment made in each period and what you are going to pay in your monthly schedule that is included into the C5 cell so give that cell number insert a comma now it is asking for PV and what is PV stands for PV means the present value or the total value of all loan payments till now and where is the PV that means loan amount included that is included into the C4 cell but note carefully here you need to insert an subtraction symbol or minus the loan amount right so insert like this insert a comma now it is asking for FB type or guess now in this case we do not need this FB type or guess but let me tell you what the FB type and guess stands for FB means the future value or the desired cash balance after the last payment default is zero right type that is also optional that means when the payments are due zero is the end of period and one is the beginning of the period the default is zero that means you do not have any dues right and what is the guess stands for into this formula that is your guess on the rate default is 10 percent so we do not need these three options into this interest rate option so we need to delete that comma insert the parenthesis now we need to multiply the periods per year that is included into the c7 cell so now hit the enter button that's all you will get the interest rate and it is showing you as odd right don't worry just click on this percentage symbol that's all you will get the accurate percentage or you can use this one also so get the more accurate of interest rate that is 4.5 percent now note that carefully that rate is a calculation by iteration if the result of rate do not converge within 20 iteration rate returns the hashtag number error values you must be consistent with units 
for gas and infer. If you make monthly payments on a 5 year loan at 10% annual interest, use 10% by 12 for gas and 5 into 12 for infer. If you make annual payments on the same loan, use 10% for gas and 5 for infer. If you want some more videos into this financial series, you can comment down below and make sure to share your queries as well as your opinions about this function. So that's all for today friends. Hopefully you like this video. I'll come back soon with the next part of this video. Till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.